Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the Plastics Materials Database. The first thing you want to notice is the material name is listed in the title block at the top right of the graphics area. Also, there's a green check mark over the polymer item in the tree indicating a material has been assigned. Let's open the Material Database. Two items here are the default data bank and a user defined data bank. In the default data bank, you can sort by material family or types of polymers such as ABS or PPS. Expansion of a particular family such as the ABS PC shows materials listed by company name and material name. Here are generic SABIC, Miles, and Monsanto companies listing their own branded names of this family of ABS PC. We'll key on the Monsanto Triax 2153. If we click on Sort by Company, you can see there are 192 manufacturers listed, and you can expand a company listing to show their own polymer products. Now suppose we want to find the Monsanto Triax 2153, which is an ABS PC. The polymer product name is Triax, and the family, which equals the material group, is ABS plus PC. At the top, you'll see an icon with the lowercase letter I and a magnifying glass behind it. This is the find utility. The top input box is for the polymer product name. Let's put in the Triax name and click the find button. In the list, we can find the Monsanto Triax 2153, and it lists the manufacturer in the second column, which is Monsanto. If you go to the left and click on Sort by Family, or Type of Material, you can conduct the search again, and you'll see the material, but the second column lists blends of that material. Other material blends that use the Triax name show as ABS plus PA and ABS plus PVC. If you want to search by the material family of just ABS plus PC, expand the dialog by pressing the Options button. You'll see an item labeled Material Group. This is the same as the Family Group. The family group we identified earlier is the ABS plus PC, so we'll enter that. And you can see the selection to find that blend only in the Monsanto Triax 2153. Select that particular material and it checks the item in the master list on the left pane. So we're done, and click the close button on the dialog. So now we look at the particulars for the selected material on the right side. The different tabs here include relevant data such as viscosity, pressure, volume, temperature, specific heat, and so on. The graphs have scaling attributes, so you can change the limits and run the scales in linear or log fashion. Here on the viscosity chart we'll show some procedures. You can double click on the chart background to remove or add the data markers. You can also zoom into an area by pressing the zoom control button and using a box select method and you can pan with the right mouse button. You can also zoom using the mouse wheel. I'm moving the mouse wheel in increments. Next, you can reset the graph by pressing that button. The Polymer Material Parameters tab lists parameters in a table format for a quick glance at properties. Finally, you may want to create your own material. You could start by copying a material from the default data bank, which we'll do here. Right-click on the material and choose Copy. Next, select the User Defined Data Bank button to expose materials. Right-click on a particular family name and you can paste it there. Now you can edit the material. Here I click on the Edit button in the top of the dialog. You can see all the properties which you can expose and change. You can rename the material in this box at the top. A look at the top of the dialog shows you can select different materials for different cavities and even select different materials for different injectors. Other controls include the import and export capability using the star.bin and Excel formats. In this video, we provided an overview of the materials database in SOLIDWORKS Plastics.